How's everybody doing today? This is Corey Lee's Boxing, man, and I can't wait to get into it, man. I try to wait as long as I can, man, for the for the fight to come up, man. But, uh, yeah, man, this is Corey Lee's Boxing. Please like and subscribe. So, yeah, man, I'm going to get straight to it. Uh, You got your boy Amir Iman um, versus Jose Ramirez, man. This is going to be an action-packed fight this Saturday. I can't wait, man. <clears throat> um... Excuse me. Yeah, man. So, you know, some of the uh, key points of this, man, is uh, we all know Don King's retired. We all know Don King's not really in boxing. But Amir Iman has been represented by Don King his whole career. And this is one of Don King's last fighters. He doesn't need the money. You know, me and one of my boys, Fanon, we went over it. And he doesn't need the money. He's good. Um, But I would just love to see Don King back. Just his, this is aura. Just his, you know, just his whole hair and his jewels and his the way he talks and, you know, I just, I don't know, I just like seeing him, man. He's a throwback, you know. He's a throwback, you know. He's a throwback. Uh, he's one of the throwback pioneers of the game, you know. Just, you know, you could all say that he was, you know, he, you know, he did fighters dirty and all of that, man. You know, but all promoters do do fighters dirty pretty much, man. You know, you're you're there to promote, and, you know, there's a difference between a promoter and a manager. You know what I mean? Al Heyman's a manager. You know what I'm saying? He's not a promoter. He's a manager. That's why a lot of his fighters have to self-promote themselves. But that's neither here nor there, man. We got, uh, so we got Amiri Mon versus uh, Jose Ramirez, man. And um, I think it's going to be an action-packed fight, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got Amiri Mon, you know, he has one loss, you know, and that's to um Adrian Granados. Tough, 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 rugged, rugged fighter, man. And um, you know, he like I said, man, and um I think that I don't know if he was sleeping on him on Amiri Mon was sleeping on was sleeping on Granados, but Granados was a beast, dude. Granados was a uh, was like a a for sure beast, dude. Like you know, and he got caught, you know, and he caught, he, he actually caught, he actually caught, um, he caught Granados a couple times, man, he has the power, you know what I'm saying, but, uh, but yeah, so right now, Boxing Rec has a Miri Mom ranked number 64 in the world, I think that's a bit too much, and they only have him rated as a three star, I think he's at least a four star, um, his KO percentage is 82%, man, he's 21 and one with no draws, and he's got 18 KOs, dude. So pretty much either you're going to knock him out or he's going to knock you out, man. That's how the story's going to go with him, man. His last three fights, Johnny Garcia, Jose Vidal Suto, and Wilfredo Acuna. Um, they all have a combined record uh, of about 50 and 30. You know what I mean? So he ain't been really facing the best opposition, man. You know what I mean? You know, no, 60 and 40, my bad. Yeah, because this guy got 23 losses. But, yeah, man, um, and you got, you know, you, you got and right before that, he lost to um, Adrian Granados. But Adrian Granados gave everybody hell. He's never been knocked out before. Um, He's got six losses now, but damn, 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 damn. He's, he's, he's been in wars with Felix Diaz. He got a mid-decision with him. Split decision with Brad Solomon. Um, split decision win over Adrian Broner. And unanimous decision over Sean Porter. So he lost all those fights. You know what I mean? And he lost to Frankie Gomez. Let's see what, what's, what's Frankie Gomez. That's another thing. I want Frankie Gomez to do good, man. He's just like idle right now. I think he's with top rank, man. He ain't really been fighting nobody for real, man. He fought... Mauricio Herrera in 2016, and man, his, his his fucking career ain't been doing shit lately, dude. Excuse the language, but Frankie Gomez under underachieving like a motherfucker. All right, man. Then we got we got uh he got two draws, but I ain't gonna be all up on Angel Jones Granados, man. We all know he's a rugged warrior. But uh, so back to uh, Jose Ramirez, man. Jose Ramirez last three fights, Mike Reed he viciously knocked his ass out in two rounds. That was, that was a that was supposed to be a, 
a, a like a a bridge fight. You know what I mean? Like, can he get over this? Is he the, which which one of these guys are the real deal? That's how I felt. I never seen Mike Reed fight before that, and I only heard about Ramirez. I never seen him fight neither. But man, that was like a crossroads fight. I feel like you know what I mean. Who's who's the real undefeated prospect? That's how I felt. You know what I mean? With the Mike Reed and Jose Ramirez fight. Uh, he fought Jake Gusea, and then he fought uh, Usaf Kinda. Um, Jake was 20 and 5. Kinda was 18 and 3. He won the Continental America's WBC World Light- Lightweight title with Kinda. And then with Mike Reed, he fought for the same title. The WBC Continental. And now this fight is going to be for the vacant. Amiri Mon versus Jose Ramirez is going to be for the vacant World Boxing Council World um, Super Lightweight title. So pretty much the 140-pound WBC belt. That's what they're fighting for. Man, it's going to be a good fight, dude. You know what I mean? I got, I got my popcorn, dude. I don't know about y'all. Leather... Will be thrown. I promise you that, man. And like I said, man, this is gonna be a great fight, man. You, I can't wait for it, dude. It's gonna be one of the. It's gonna. I think it's gonna be one of the top fights of the year, man. That's my opinion, man. You know what I mean? These guys both have menacing records, man. You know what I mean? Like Mike Jose Ramirez is twenty-one and zero with sixteen KOs. So his his uh, his uh, KO ratio is seventy-six percent. Which is awesome, man. But yeah, man. Um, like I said, man, it's gonna be going down, man. Who y'all picking? I I mean, shit. If y'all if y'all force me to pick, I'm gonna have to pick. I'm gonna have to. I'm a. Oh man, this is. <laughs> this is this is gonna be crazy, man. But I'm gonna have to pick a Mary Mom, man. It's like, it's God, it's like a 50-50 fight. It's dead 50-50 because if Amiri Mon never got caught for Granados, I'm pretty sure a lot of guys would pick Amiri Mon. No problem, you know what I mean? But since he did get caught, it's like, is his chin suspect or what? And if, and, and Ramirez has that, 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 that fuck you up power. So, with that being said, y'all, I'm going to go with Amiri Mon. But I I don't I don't see my I don't I was gonna say it might change during fight week I mean during uh closer to the fight like Friday but I think I'm gonna stay with Amiri Mon man I think you can count me in staying with Amiri Mon man so yeah man I'll probably make a video I'm definitely gonna make a post fight video right after the fight and um and I'll definitely make I might make another video about this fight because um I'm trying to see what's gonna be on the undercard. And, um, yeah, man, this is Corey Lee Boxing, baby. We're back, dude. Back-to-back videos. Thanks for subscribing. And like I said, man, please like and subscribe. Until the next time, man, have a great day, man. Peace.